Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Today we are going to bind my junk journal uh, for Christmas and this was a really really fun project. I enjoyed uh, I have worked in a junk journal before, uh, meaning like I've, I've tried it before, uh, but I've never actually enjoyed it, the process, until now. And I think it's because I worked on all the pages loose, um, and then I'm just going to bind them for you today. I'm sure most of you know how to do this binding, but I just thought that it would be fun to kind of like see the book just come together all the way. Um, I'm not into measuring, so I'm just going to poke three holes and uh, do my best to keep it kind of like in the binding. I'm using an owl. And got one, two. This is actually really thick. <laughs> so and then we'll do the third up here they're not perfect but I'm not worried about it and then I am going to take some waxed thread um, waxed thread is just easier to work with uh, that's why I'm using it and I'm just going to thread my needle maybe <laughs> and start sewing through I'm going to leave a tail so that way I can tie a knot. So I go in through the middle and then around the outside to the bottom and I'm going to hit the middle again. Go all the way through. I'm pulling tight, but not tight to rip, just tight to, uh, to make everything kind of come together. So going from the outside in again, pulling again tight. I'm gonna go ahead and put my needle away. This um, this thing is pretty cool because it's a magnet. So I really like that case. And then I'm gonna tie a knot down here. And when I tie my knot, I like to tie like three or four, um, just because, <laughs> make it safe. And then I'll trim the excess. And then my journal is bound, so let's do a flip through. So overall, I really enjoyed this process. I think I've said that a bunch. Uh, this is the front cover. I went ahead and put 2019. I think you guys saw me do Create December and the Border, and then I wrote like 01, meaning like the very first um, uh, junk journal that I've done for December and then this is what the back looks like so I, I really I think the cover is perfect these stickers are from Studio Katie I can list her in the description box uh, she makes beautiful stickers and they're the same quality stickers that I use um, same company and everything so I know that they're like super great quality and I really enjoy them so this is my first page. I have uh, the December prompt list um, and just like all the uh, prompts here. And then I start with number one and traditions, number two. I really like these stickers. I think next year when I do this, I'm gonna invest in some uh, like date stickers like that. I do have the photos covered up in the album to just, you know, keep my, kids and family private but um i hope that's not too distracting this was my first pocket that i learned a lot from <laughs> i did do a second pocket in more towards the end of the journal and it turned out much better 
but oh, this is a creator box. I really enjoy the creator box and I will be picking a winner soon. So stay tuned for that video. I had a, a giveaway up for the month of December. It ended December 31st. Um, so we're at 10 and 11. Some of these are in order and some aren't. I really liked being able to play with like the two different tones of paper. Like this is a craft paper and then this is actually a Strathmore mixed media paper. So that's really nice. I loved this page. I will have the whole Create December playlist linked for you in the description box. This my son made for me. He's so cute, the little elf. He brought him home from school. This is actually a pocket that pulls out. I was so lucky that I had some subscribers send me a ton of Christmas washi, so I'm set on Christmas washi. I used this pocket. It was like a kind of like a brown paper bag, but um, but it obviously was pink and it had some flower design on it. And I know that floral is not Christmas, but I just really like the pink theme. Um, especially since I was like in, really loving this Potter's Pink that I was gifted. Potter's Pink by Daniel Smith. I really liked that. Didn't know what to do with this page here, well this section, and I ended up sticking the tree there and I feel like it, it's fine. Like it's not, um, a picture could go here and it would look really nice, but I just didn't have one so I wasn't going to push it. Here is my second pocket. Uh right here. I enjoyed that. That was way easier to make. All I needed to do was trim down the um, actual tuck spot. I tried to do a contour line drawing. It was just, I was inspired by James Burke. And so, um, yeah, I do like it. I think that I could, I can definitely do better. It's something that I can definitely practice. This is another one of my son's uh, drawings. And this is day 24, which was snow. And then 25 was Christmas and love, I think was the, um, was the prompt, so I have tons of pictures. But uh, overall, this was so much fun. I cannot wait to do it again next year or somehow incorporate this type of style into my everyday journaling. I, I enjoyed it. I do know that it's chunky, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna store this. I think for the moment, I am just going to tie some string around here because that's how I roll and then figure out a system for storing it. I was thinking about storing it in the traveler's notebook that I had it in, but I kind of want to use that for next year too. So I know that there's binders that you can buy for these and that's not something that I want to jump into buying right now, just in case like this isn't my thing. Uh, maybe if I had three inserts, that binder would be like a really good investment. But for right now, this will do. I will tuck this into my stack for 2019 and overall amazing challenge for myself. I am so excited that I actually enjoyed it and somehow this will be coming into 2020. Soon you will be seeing what I will be doing for 2020. I know that we're already here and I know that there are many people that have already put out videos of what they're using and what they're doing. Um, I'm still figuring myself out considering I do, I do have a few pages left in my my Hobonichi. So I'm not sure if I'm going to, I'll kind of, here, I'll give you a little sneak peek. So I do have the path cover and I do have some more of the blank Hobonichi insert, which look like this. They're just blank Tomorever dot grid. It's my jam. I really like it, but I'm really having a hard time giving up this style at the moment. <laughs> and so I kind of know that this system works for me and I know that I love it. And so this isn't going to go anywhere. Like if I don't use it now, I'll most likely come back to it. But I'm really thinking about like trying something like this. We'll see what happens. I have, like I said, I do have a few more pages left in here. And so this is why I haven't put up my 2020, like what I'm using, because um, it's just not starting in 2020. It might start like mid January. So this is just strictly writing. So it's a little bit different than a junk journal. 
Um, but you know, the reason I keep going back to this is because my son, my kids are bringing home a lot of stuff from school and I'd like to put them in inside my journal. And in this one, I really can't. The pages are just not there for the size that I need it to be. I do tuck things into the pockets, but um, I'm I'm leaning more towards something like this for now. Um, and then I'm sure, knowing me, I'd want I will want to go back to just strictly writing because that's kind of that's really how I process things and understand myself and other people and, or how I feel about what other people are doing or what I'm doing. And, you know, so, um, it's all about writing for me, but I like the idea of putting it all in one thing. However, see, I'm just talking to you now. However, I'm nervous to do this because I'm afraid then my illustrated sketchbook, like my, my little, uh, field notes sketchbook will be, um, kind of like set to the side because I haven't touched it since I did in December at all because I've been doing this because I've been doing drawings in here which isn't a bad thing like I'm a, f a firm believer of like I love to finish notebooks so I will I will finish this even though I have an urge to do this um, I will finish this till the end but um, I do also like to try new things. And if it just doesn't work, I finish that notebook and then I go back to what is working. So since I know this works, I'm sticking. I'm going to keep it. I'm not sticking with it, but I'm going to keep it. And we'll see what happens in 2020. I have, like I said, 10 more pages left here. So who knows? I might change my mind three or four more times. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope that you had happy holidays and I cannot wait for what's in store for 2020. So until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.